Welcome to another video. In the last one, I ended it off with doing some wood cutting on teaks to try to get a decent amount of teak planks to be able to do construction with the mahogany homes. And I have currently 1644 planks and 250 steel bars which you also use meanwhile doing it. But I don't think this should be enough for 70 construction all the way from 52. But I should get fairly close and I do have some other planks as well. I could also make some mahogany planks. So maybe I will have enough banked overall for 70. I'm just briefly going to explain how this works. So you get a contract that tells you what house you have to go to. So now I got Tao's house in Falador. You have to build the specific things it asks you to build. And there is a plugin for it just called Mahogany Homes. You can download it on the plugin hub. And then you make all the things. And I think my contract should be done now. So now I just have to talk to Tao. And I should get 2,250 experience. I think it, of course, goes up the higher tier logs you do. Or planks, I mean. So Mahogany would be more and Teak is 2,250. I think there are other locations you can get contracts at also. But I'm just going to be using this one. And here you get to choose. I'm going to with the 51, which is the Teak ones, I think. And this one says I have to go to Jess in East Ardoin. So I just teleport there. And I with the plugin, you can see here, it becomes really easy. It just shows you basically where to go. So I'm 121 construction experience in and I'm going to be getting 60 farming here which means I only need 10 more levels to be able to have the requirement for Song of the Elves. So we're getting some nice progress. I don't have any usage unfortunately but uh, whenever I get some I can plant those. And we're also getting 60 construction here so only 10 more levels on that skill as well going pretty nicely. So I'm currently at 64 construction and I just got enough points to buy a plank sack and that can hold up to 24 planks and that is also a collection log item which is going to make this a bit smoother to be able to bring more planks. So after 461,000 construction done through the construction contracts I am now at 67 construction. I'm getting so close to 70 that I just want to finish it off and I only have 22 teak planks left and only 9 teak logs. I think overall I need to get like 400, 400 than 50 or something like that so it's not much at all so I'm just going to go back to Ape Atoll do the wood cutting there and finish off 70 construction. Just finishing off the last 282 experience with some oak planks that I had in the bank but that is now 70 construction achieved and the only skills that we now miss for Song of the Elves is 70 mining, 70 herb lore and 70 farming. So now that I have that done, I'm actually going to work on getting all the free herb lore experience I can get. And the first thing I want to do is complete the jungle's potion quest, which I cannot believe I haven't done yet. But 775 experience. But now I can do Shiloh Village and after that I can do the one small favor quest, which gives like 20,000 free herb lore experience. And that is going to be the Shiloh Village completed. Actually a very easy quest, way easier than I remember it being. But uh, that unlocks of course Duradel Slayer when I get 100 combat. Some crafting experience right there and the one small favor quest which is going to be kind of fine with stamina so actually you have to run a lot but yeah it's fine. And finally here we go this is the one small favor completed it was not really that bad with the quest helper and that is going to be 20,000 experience I can put into herb lore. Apparently a lot of uh, conversation here but there we go that is uh, two antique lamps and two quest points as well. Let's put those both on herb lore and I'm just going to keep a counter up here that you guys can uh, basically see how much herb lore experience I'm going to get during this video. I'm going to be working on doing quests and achievement diaries in general and that is how I'm going to get a bunch of lamps to use on herb lore. I was I think 50 herb lore and after this I am now 51 so almost two levels. And here we have the hero's quest completed. It doesn't really give a lot of herb lore experience, but it does give some which is going to push me over the level. You also get a bunch of experience in other skills. Look at that. 1300 herb lore experience and also of course I can now use the dragon battle axe, which is a pretty nice boost. 52 herb lore and the main reason why I did this is because now I have everything to complete the Legends quest, which actually gives quite a lot of herbal experience. And finally, there we go, that is the Legends quest completed, and I can go here and find herbal lore, and you can actually do this four times. So let's choose 7600 herbal lore experience, and you can do that three more times. So this is going to be a good amount of herbal lore experience, it's kind of tedious, you have to go through the uh, chat op options all the time. Guess I have to do it two more times, but uh, yeah, that should be actually another level after that, so 54 herb lore. 
And that's the last one. Let's also get the uh, pop-up here, I think, of the Legends quest completion. There we go, four quest points. And I think, actually, when it comes to Recipe for Disaster, which is actually a pretty good quest to complete as well for Herblore experience, I think 20,000 experience or maybe 10,000, I actually only need to get 70 cooking to do the last part, so... That should also be something I complete in this video and get Barrow's Gloves on top of it. So what did I decide to do after the Legends quest? Well, judging by this absolute chat of a character, you might understand what I did. I completed all the easy diaries and got a good amount of XP lamps. Unfortunately, they are not a lot of experience, but uh, I am going to start working on the medium diaries as well. I also have some quests that I am planning to do as well for our blur experience, but I think each of them is going to be 2.5k, so let's see how much we're going to end that after uh, 56k total after using the first one. 78k, so like 24,000 experience for that, and that is also 50 five herb lore now i think i want to take a break from doing diaries because doing that was kind of boring i'm not going to lie Got this, of course, shad set up. Every single item is from Diaries, so that's pretty cool. But uh, I'm actually going to work on the uh, vampire quest line, the tw Taste of Hope and Sins of the Father and stuff like that, because uh, I need to get into the Dark Mayor area in the future anyways, and they actually give quite a lot of XP tomes. So the first quest, In Search of the Marque, is completed. I don't think it gives any good XP rewards. 600 attack, defense, strength, hit points, and crafting. But it is the first step in the entire series completed. What is wrong with the price of lean snails? I need 10 of them and they're 13k each. Look at this. What? Why does it say 2k here? Is it just the actively traded price is like 13k or something? Or I, I have no idea why that is. And that is the in aid of the Marku completed as well for some experience. Just really combat and uh, crafting I guess. And I don't even remember which quest is the next one. I think it might be a taste of hope, but I uh, could be wrong. I was wrong. It was the darkness of Hallowvale, but let's do that now. Oh yes, the uh, infamous agility course that you have to go through multiple times during all these quest lines. I think overall you have to go through like back and forth in this uh, agility course, which takes multiple minutes. Probably like six times, if not even more. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's that many. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Actually, the first quest here in the series that is going to give me some herb lore experience, so let's complete it. Agility Thieving Construction, and here is the Tome of Experience that gives, I think, 2,000 or maybe 3k, yeah, 2,000 three times on herb lore, so 6,000 experience. And it is actually going to be a level as well, so 56 uh, herb lore, I think it is. Yeah, 56, but now I can actually do Taste of Hope, and I'm pretty sure that also gives the uh, XP Tomes. Now before we do Taste of Hope, look at this, I have three fully grown mahogany trees ready to be harvested and this is going to be like 45,000 farming experience and I have a lot of mahogany seeds so I will keep doing this. I'm currently 61 farming, I'm keeping up with my herb runs as much as I can because I need the herb lore experience as well as the farming experience. Am I going to get- oh no! I'm going to be 600 experience of 63 but uh, yeah, we're getting closer to 70 farming as well. Look at this dude, he's trying to kill me with uh, his ranged attacks and I can literally just pray. Look at this guy, he's just uh, doing nothing. So the last fight is upon me and this is the gear I'm going to be using. Fairly sure it's going to be easy for me to do, I mean I saw a settled Swampletic series do this with like the worst gear ever and what like uh, meat pizzas or something so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be fine. <laughs> and there we go, that is uh, Rannis Draken killed and uh, now I just have to go and talk to some NPCs I'm pretty sure and we are done with a taste of blood. Now when it comes to the Sins of the Father quest which I can actually complete at this point I am going to wait just a bit because the experience tomes that you get from that, which is overall 45,000 experience, you have to only use on a skill that is above 60. So before I do that, I am going to get myself 60 herb lore. On top of getting the Tome of Experience, the Draken's Medallion is actually extremely handy. Just teleporting to the Theater of Blood on demand is going to be such a nice convenience. Also, let's get the experience here, Herb Lore 2.5k. I think it is three times, so it should be like 7.5k like the other quest was. Yeah, there we go. Not quite a level, but it is now everything I have to do 
for the sins of the father completed except i think 56 crafting but uh, you guys remember what i did in my last episode if we can find the uh where, where are they gold bars Twelve thousand. that's how i'm going to get it honestly there's very few medium diaries that doesn't require quests and i don't want to do any more quests in this video except the sins of the father i'm kind of done with questing honestly but the medium lumbridge i could complete and the xp lamp should be like 5,000 experience i assume 7.5k so that's even better but that is now 57 herb lore only going to be doing two of them the kandarin one is now completed for another 7.5k experience so let's put that on herb lore almost half a level for that pretty nice but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to complete the entire recipe for disaster which uh, has two parts left and uh, after that i will get both the barrels gloves and 20,000 herb lore experience and to do the last part of the quest, I needed to get 70 cooking, so that is now done if I don't burn the last one. Luckily, I didn't, and actually, look at this, 70 cooking on exactly the amount of swordfish that I had. And I burned 260 of them. That was all of them, look. I have no left, perfect. Yes, that is it. 10,000 agility, 10,000 cooking, and that is all the subquests completed. And I actually have a 172 quest points, which I realized I need 175. So I just need to complete some minor quests to uh, be able to do the last fight, get a 20k herb lore experience lamp and the barrels gloves. There actually happens to be a perfect quest for me to complete, which is a making history. It gives three quest points, which is all that I need. And it is also actually a requirement that I still needed for the Song of the Elves. So I got both of that in one quest. And that is now Barrow's Gloves finally unlocked on the account. They are of course going to be very useful for any type of PVMing I'm going to do. And the 20,000 experience lamp that is going straight into herb lore for 20,000... 20, 58 herb lore. So only two more levels to go now. And I'm actually going to do it in Soliceps, I think. Because I have like 150,000 herb lore experience left to do in fossils so i'm going to get a lot of wood cutting levels from that probably and it is a very nice method of getting herb lore experience so there's actually two very nice benefits in herb lore wise from doing soliceps the first one is of course the experience lamps that you get from the fossils which is going to be the majority of the experience but on top of that you also get these the mortemeyer fungus and I have been doing Avanto farm runs for a while now, so I probably have like 400 of them in the bank. And every one of these is one super energy pot that I can make with that, which is 117 experience. So it's basically two different ways you get herbal experience doing this. So I did woodcutting all the way to 74 last night and then I went to bed and I woke up and realized that there are actually two very easy quests I can do that gives 10,000 experience for free. And the first one is In Search of Knowledge. Just completed that and I'm going to put that on Herblore of course. 10,000 experience and we also have the Curse of the Empty Lord that gives the ghostly robes. That also gives another 10,000 experience. But uh, I will complete that and then we're going to hand in the fossils I got from woodcutting. And that hopefully is going to be enough for 60 Herblore. Looking like a PKer 10 years ago in this ghostly robes, but uh, completed the Curse of the Empty Lord, got all the ghostly robes for Fashionscape, and if you talk to the historian Minas after that, you're going to get a 10,000 experience lamp, and there might actually be more XP lamps that I can get from him, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it seems like actually we can, maybe from Legends Quest or something like that. Yep, two experience lamps, even three maybe? Oh, never mind. Okay, so two of them, and the first one is 1k, and this one should be a 10k from the Curse of the Empty Lord. Yeah, what? 1,000? There's no way, dude. What? I could talk to him one more time, so this has to be the one, right? If this is like 1k, then I don't know. Oh, that is the 10k. Okay, perfect. So that should be 59 herb lore, and let's go down and clean the fossils and see if we can reach 60. I'm pretty sure these fossils should be enough, so let's start cleaning them and get that 60 herb lore. Alright, let's see. Let's use all these lamps if we can actually get it. 5k, yeah, there's no way we're not going to get it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so that's a lot of experience from these uh, fossils. I think overall I got like 45k, actually probably more than that. And that is now 60 herb lore. So what we need to do now, 
which is the last thing, is get 56 crafting on gold bars and make gold bracelets. Luckily I have 12,000 banked and then we can get 45,000 free experience from the Sins of the Father quest. 2050 gold bracelets and some diamond rings and ruby amulets to get to 56 crafting so we got that done we can do sins of the father but also i got 114 mortmire fungus from the solar sap woodcutting grind which is a 117.5 herblore experience each so that is like 12,000 herblore experience with the avantos i have so we're at the end of the sins of the father quest and this boss fight is actually unironically pretty difficult i've seen some hardcore iron men almost die to this like some other youtubers also saw i think dovidas in our group was actually doing this kind of recently and he had to teleport out or die like four times so let's see if i will be able to do this on the first attempt if not then it is not too bad if you do die you have to pay like 100k but that's about it I believe almost all the damage I'm taking is magic damage, so maybe using Darox and Torso is not the play. I am just getting kind of shredded by his normal attacks, I'm not really screwing up all the other mechanics. So I'm probably going to teleport out now, he is actually not dead, because after this there's a phase where you take a lot of damage. So I'm just going to leave and uh, try with Dragon Heights. Are you kidding me? No way, that's literally 1 HP! Oh my god, are you kidding me? For reals, man. Hey, very nice hits there, actually. So that took me three attempts. That's not too bad. Since so the father is now completed, and let's claim all this free experience on Herblore. We now have 60 in it, so of course we can get the XP. Let's see. 15k three times that is beautiful we're now over 200,000 herbal experience in this video and we also hit 61 almost 62 off of that but with that we're going to end the video here i hope you guys did enjoy it and the progress we're making towards priftinas is a very very nice the only skills we're still missing of course is farming herb lore and mining to 70 probably mining being the last one because it is so easy to do how i'm going to get farming and herb lore up in general is most likely through herb runs and maybe some mahogany trees now and then and uh, that should get me enough herbs to get to 70 herb lore as well so that should be a good way of doing it but hope you guys did enjoy the video like the video if you liked it subscribe if you want to see my future uploads and until next time guys have a good one